today I decided to do a video about my playbills. So I'm going to show you every playbill I have in my collection, and so a couple may be missing, but this is just to start out for the videos. So I'm going to start with my favorite one that I have, and it's this one signed by the original Newsies cast, and I am a huge fancy. So I'm very excited. I have Jeremy Jordan's signature right there. It's very exciting. And it was my first experience waiting outside of a Broadway theater at the stage door, so I'll always cherish this forever as a memory. And then next I have this one, West Side Story. And I didn't actually go to the show. This is from when I was younger, but a friend of mine went and she brought me back this, so that is also in my collection. And then we have The Addams Family. And this one's a very cool one. With the song. And then we have this one from my mom back in the day when she went to see Rent in Boston. And I just keep these in my collection because they're really cool like to have you know, in your room on your bookshelf. And look at that. 1997, that's when this was from. And then this one is when I went to the Boston Pops to see my Broadway idol Sutton Foster and it's just their normal program but if you go in the pages it has all about Sutton Foster right here and it was very exciting I love that it was such a good show and then I've been I have a subscription to my local theaters Broadway series so I've been going to all their shows for the past two years so here's Cinderella and I really enjoyed it because my sophomore year of high school, my school did Cinderella as a musical. So it's kind of, you know, the better to see a musical after you've done it because you see, oh, you recognize that song and you enjoy it so much more because you can picture your friends doing the parts and singing the song. So it's really fun. And yeah, that's that. And then our musical this year at school is The Sound of Music. So the other day I went to my local theater to see the Broadway series of The Sound of Music and it was incredible. I loved it so much. The sets were great and the actors and actresses were great and it was really nice. And as you can see from my shirt, I thoroughly enjoyed Kinky Boots. And oh my god, I had never seen Kinky Boots before and I'm I'm a Broadway fan. You think I would know a lot about Kinky Boots, but I really didn't know much about it. But that was the I have to say that was the best show I've ever seen. And this was the Broadway tour and from listening to the recording in this one, I think they were equal if not better to the Broadway recording so that's exciting and of course I needed the t-shirt with the sparkles on it because you know I need that and so here is my first show ever on Broadway Mary Poppins and I think it was a great first show to go to because it was very magical like when she flew into the audience at the end with her umbrella and the tapping on the ceiling and so it was just very magical for my first Broadway experience and then I have the curious incident of the dog in the nighttime, and this was incredible. I'm so happy you got the Tony for best play because it was so intricate with the staging, with the grid lights, and the train scene was my favorite. When it, like, it's so awesome when a show has actors that make it really seem like there is something there that's not actually there, like our town, how it has that feeling of you know there's no props, but you know exactly what they're doing. This was it, just like this with. It was a train scene where they had the sounds and the actor was like being blown away by the wind and they made a hole in the stage and it seemed just like there was a train there so a kudos to them and if you want to see this it's on tour now and I su highly suggest that you see it. And then we have Wicked and this one is a staple for any Broadway lover because you know it's Wicked, it's the classic. It's been on Broadway for years and started off Kristen Chenoweth and everything so that's great. And then we have Matilda. I love Matilda. It was always my favorite movie when I was little, and, you know, now they made the musical, it's even better. And I'm just looking to see, somebody was playing, um, Mrs. Trunchbull, Miss Trunchbull special that day. Chris, Christopher Sieber. He was, so he is good. It was very good. And then, 42nd Street. The tour was amazing. I love the colorful tap shoes and everything. And I was in 42nd Street myself, so it was so fun to be doing the tap numbers in my seat and singing the songs in my head, and it was just a great time. And then we have Dirty Dancing. Dirty Dancing's set was amazing. It was all white and, like, you know, picket fence white and all these screens that had, like, the camp on it and everything. It was just great. And the actors who were playing 
the two main characters looked exactly like Patrick Swayze, and it was amazing. I loved it. And then, Anything Goes, which is one of my favorite musicals, and I saw it at the Ogunko Playhouse, and the star was Andrea McArdle, which is the original Annie, and if you've never gone to the Ogunko Playhouse and you live in the Northeast, you should go because it's a great theater in, in the summer, and also it has a lot of Broadway veterans and everything, and it's very professional, so I highly suggest going there. Ragtime. Now, I didn't really know much about this before I went, and I was blown away. I loved it. It was just, the singers were amazing, and, you know, the storyline. I was always thinking, what what is Ragtime about? It was, it was awesome. And then this is another from my mother's collection, Footloose. Look at this. They're all jumping around like that. <laughs> this was in Boston. And here's another one of my mother's. Cabaret. This is really cool. Terry Hatcher. And then who doesn't love a good Fosse? I don't, I don't think this is... Yeah, yeah. Broadway in Boston. And so... That, oh, and I have one more to show. This is the playbill that my school made for our musical last year, Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. And I was just fascinated about how they did the playbill. I just wanted to show that at the end of my video. So that pretty much does it for today's video. If you have any suggestions about what I should do next, leave them in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe and like this video and share it on Facebook. And if you want to follow me to see when I'm going to post my next video, Follow me on Instagram at Paisley Haddad, at Twitter at Paisley Haddad, and on my Facebook page, facebook.com slash the Broadway Brunette. Bye, guys.